Hi viewers, my name is Nanoli Kapis. Today I'm going to teach you how to cut a funnel six pieces skirt or a six pieces skirt in a funnel way. This is a cut out pattern. This is my uh, this is the measurement. This is the skirt that we are going to cut a funnel skirt. Here is the design of the skirt. Here is how it's going to be when you finish sewing it. So if you don't know how to cut a short skirt, you can go to my channel and watch how to cut a short skirt. So today we are going to do this thing practically on the fabric. So what we are going to do now, we are going to first of all measure the length, the hip, the waist measurement of the skirt is the waist measurement that we are going to use for this cutting. The waist is 27, the waist, then the hip is 37, the hip point, the hip point is eight and a half, while the length is 45. This is what we are going to use to do the cutting. So first of all, I will get my half length and the length that I'm going to stop. So my half length is 19 inches <laughs> excuse me remember everybody have their own half length depending on the height of the person i received a question from the comment board they were asking me the exact place that is the half length so depending on the length on the height of the person or from the knee length you go up with two inches or two and a half or even three inches depending so here this is the half length this is the normal length so what next what uh, the next thing we are going to do according to this chart according to this chart this is five inches this is five inches and this is two and a half two and a half inches so everybody has their own way of doing it, but we are doing it according to this body measurement. You come here, you mark five, five inches. Then you come down here, you mark two and a half. Come down here, mark two and a half. From this place, you fish out. The width side of this thing is 11, of this fabric is 11 inches from up to down so the next thing is for us to fish it out to this place from here you fish it out to this place to the ending part to the bottom part of the fabric yeah then from this place i'll connect to these five inches connect it to this five inches so I'll cut off here I'll come up with one inch and slant it then you cut off this thing when you turn up everything will enter inside but the turn up is inside this length you can use one and a half you can use two inches for the turn up depending on how long how the length is Next thing is for us to cut the side of this front for next case. And here, remember to notch here. It's very important. In cutting this funnel skirt, 
remember to not share The next thing is for me to get this size. Okay. I would have used here, but let me shift it so that you will see better on this side. What you are going to do now what you are going to do now is to place this your middle side to get the shape of this funnel middle funnel this one that shoot out you are going to get the shape of this on the side of this on one of the side of this skirt So the next thing is for us to cut here. Like I told you that this notch is very important. You need to mark it in finish up. Here you mark, you cut off to get the shape of this side. Reason is because if you do not get the shape of this side, when you join it or you cut it the other way around, it may not meet to the end of this place. So here you stop here here you stop here then you turn this thing this middle funnel six pieces skate to the other side to the side of this place because it cannot come to this place but this side you turn it like this then you finish your cutting you can trace it let me trace it out so that you will see what I'm doing you saw this funnel skate normal way you used to sew six pieces skate doesn't have any wahala issue or any problem that's the normal way you sew six pieces skate so you remove this one so see how it is, see how it is, here we meet here, then this one will be like this. The next thing we are going to do now is to cut, 
is to cut our as in to do our body measurement that's the next thing we are going to do to do our body measurement so from this place you measure the waistline is 27 which is which is six three quarter which is three uh, six three quarter you mark then you mark two and a half or three inches for the sewing allowance here and here has taken one and the remaining half one and a half is for both the lining and the fitting you mark two and a half here then here get your hip points which is eight and a half mark your hip point eight and a half which is 37 which is nine and quarter you mark it was two and a half sewing allowance then your half length your half length is 19 inches you mark 19 inches here 37 so i'm going to use 32 minus 5 for me i'm going to use 32 32 will be 8 inches the two will be eight inches. Plus two and a half. Then here is here is a bit twenty almost twenty two inches. So here I will connect. Here, I will connect. Then from this place, I will meet from this half length. I will meet the extreme end of this place. I will fish it out. So then I will cut off. Then I will trace it out. After this one, the next one is to cut the back of this funnel six pieces kit. Remember to not share. And not share. To know that this is the middle part of it. Sometimes one make mistake. So the next thing is to do the back side of it. The next thing is for us to cut the back of this Hornell six pieces skirt. We are going to get a zip allowance one inch. mark here we're going to get a hip point mark then down here six and a half but remember here everybody have their own different body measurements because if you put it on somebody else that doesn't have the same body measurement that means you're spoiling the person's group everybody have their own body measurement then you come down with three inches before you fish out
Then here, you mark half inch. Come down with half inch. Then connect. Connect here with this place. Connect with here. The damn part of the box. Then with this one. Then the next thing is for you to fish out. Here, from here to here, you can put five, you can put six, you can put seven, you can put eight. Here is seven and quarter. So depending on how you want your curl to fish out, you can do so. And from here, I'll connect it down to this tail. That is what they call tail. In the back of the skirt. So the next thing is for me to cut it off. Another thing is to cut here, the side, everything will be the same shape as this front middle side. Why I left this thing here is because of the height of the person, the length is up to 44 then this one when you join in so it's that one inch the length of this is 45 but the length of the person i'm putting the cloth is 44 that's why i left it so that when i, I turn it up everything will go inside remember you get the shape of this then here remember to notch yeah next thing is the side of this back the front side and the back side are the same thing i already cut it this is is up to four when you finish the front side of your cutting use it to cut the back side is up to four pieces so thank you for watching the video you can like my page on Facebook, learn how to cut and sew. I used to do the theoretical aspect of the teachings. And also, you can like this my channel. You can comment if there is any question you want to ask. You can also subscribe and help us and share the video to others to watch. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.